I don't know whether y'all gonna like this message or not. Tell your neighbor, witnessing is the essential labor to which the Lord has called us. When he sent 70 of his followers out to preach the gospel, he said in Luke 10 and 2, the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into the harvest. And then when the 70 return with a good report of ministry, Luke 10, 21, the Bible says, in that hour, Jesus rejoiced. When he heard the report of his witnessing team, when they came back and let him know what had happened, the demons are subject to sick of being healed, the blind are seeing, the dead, of Jesus got happy. I don't know whether he shouted up and down the aisle, I don't know what Jesus did, but Jesus rejoiced and said, Father, I thank you, Lord of heaven and earth. You've hidden these things from the wise and the prudent, and you've revealed them unto babes. God has given knowledge of a lot of things to a lot of people, knowledge of how to make massive airplanes that fly into the sky, spaceships that go off into the space. But God has given you something he didn't give to the scientist, didn't give to the professor, he gave you his word. And you have the privilege of sharing the precious word of Jesus Christ. Come on, thank God for that privilege. Souls are the fruit that we are to bring forth. You remember that Paul said in Romans 1.13, I don't want you to be unaware, brethren. I often planned to come to you, but was hindered until now. And I wanted to come that I might have some fruit among you also. Just as among the other Gentiles, I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise, the unwise. So as much as in me, I am ready to preach the gospel to you who are in Rome also, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, for in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Paul uh, is not the only preacher. Ordained elders are not the only preachers. Bishops are not the only preachers. Those who are licensed to the ministry are not the only preachers. Everybody is a preacher. And you've got to tell the world about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I've come by here tonight looking for some folk who are not ashamed. When you yell it out, I'm not ashamed. I know it's not politically or socially acceptable to share your faith. I know people are saying they should be left alone. I'm, I know that people are saying in a formal gathering, if you're asked to do the invocation, don't pray in the name of Jesus because you've got folk who are Jewish and Hindu and Buddhist and uh, Muslim, and, and you've got to recognize and honor and, and, and consider their faith, and I was at a big event on the other day, and they had me do the prayer, and I thought about these little social restrictions that they try to place on everybody, and so I didn't try to make everybody else pray uh, by, in my way, but when I got through, I said, I pray. I pray in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Is there anybody in here who prays in the name of Jesus? At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Christ is Lord of all. I'm looking for some folk who are not ashamed of Jesus. I'm looking for some folk that love Jesus, that don't mind praising him. Are there any praises in the house? Hallelujah. Jesus said in Luke 8 and 38, Whoever is ashamed of me, and in my words, before this adulterous and sinful generation, of him shall the Son of Man also be ashamed when it comes in the glory of the Father with his holy angels. I could not stand it, even to think of the possibility that when we line up trying to get in heaven, the Lord says, I don't know you. I never met you. I, I know you. I hear you tried to do something in my name, but depart from me. I know you're not. I don't want the Lord to be 
ashamed of me. I don't want the Lord to reject me. And so souls are the fruit that we are to bring forth. And he said in John 15 and 2, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it so that it may bear more fruit. 